What's up guys? Nice to see you. Welcome back. In today's episode, I went ahead and purchased a few things to make my life camping in this Toyota Tacoma a lot easier. Some of those items include the Jackery, a 60 watt uh, solar panel. I went ahead and got a GCI Deluxe Camp Kitchen. Also included is a little shade covering for the back end of my truck. Everything's going to be included in this video. Stick with me. I hope you enjoy it. Talk to you soon, guys. Later. So you guys can't really tell, but there is the uh, bed net. It's called a taco net. It was $34.95. <clears throat> Goes into the bed rails and the uh, D-rings, which actually helped me with my load here. Uh, Amazon, again, $34.95. <clears throat> really good, great price. So this next item that I got was uh, a must-have. I like to camp a lot and I wanted to make sure that my glamping setup is set the way I want it. So GCI Outdoor Master Cook Station, not a sponsor, uh, $144.99 at time of purchase. I believe this is a game changer. I had no idea how to actually set this up. Uh, what you see here on screen is actually what you're getting because I was as confused and I don't want to look at the uh, at the instructions. but. Game changer, I'll kind of throw in some snippets here and there, but absolute game changer. Uh, I will need to get a table because I don't want to be using my tailgate, but this thing, uh, just check it out, man. Well, there's only one drawback to the GCI Outdoor Master Cook Station. It comes with a basin that's supposed to be a sink. The, uh, the drain that's supposed to screw on there just... It is absolutely the hardest thing to screw on. Otherwise, great, great product. One of the other items that I purchased was the Coleman Fold and Go. It's basically a two burner propane camping stove. Um, as you can see here, it's a quick, easy setup. It basically is what it is. You fold it and it goes. You do need two cans of propane just for aesthetics to make sure the bag looks full other than that i mean this thing really does work very well uh the low setting on the stove itself it really isn't low it's just like a jet you know burner i do use a heavy pan and we do have cast iron so in our situation it works out very well the grill grates on this or where you put your pan on they're inverted it's a great way to store this i'll just kind of give you a little look here you got to be careful with the actual igniter when you're putting these away there's a little slit you pull push together pop them in it, it stores well guys this is this is a, a definite really good buy you know for somebody who's on a budget amazon so during this time, while doing the voiceover, I found this for $80.86. A steal. I actually paid more. Alrighty, so this is one of the biggest purchases that I've made for my truck camping. The Jackery, it's a portable power station. It's the Explorer 240 with 240 uh, watts backup lithium battery. It's 110 volt, 200 uh, pure sine wave AC outlet at $219. This thing has been with us to everywhere. We've gone to, we've taken this to Joshua Tree. It's helped us out there. It's lit up all of Malibu. We went to Leo Carrillo. We went to Sycamore Canyon, Thornhill Broom. We went to Point Magoo. Uh, we were even up at um, the Angeles Forest with my friend, and uh, this thing is still ticking. Not a sponsor. Jackery, if you want to sponsor me, I'd love it. Send me something. Uh, this thing has been everywhere. It's in every single one of our videos. So I went ahead and borrowed my friend's Jackery 500. It powered 
one very cold night video coming soon of us at Sycamore Canyon. And again, this was California winter, but it was still cold. Wind chill factor took place. We're near the beach. It powered all of our lights. It powered two uh, electric dog blankets for ourselves, of course. Flex solar, 60 watt portable solar panel with charging kit, 19 volts, $109, USB-C output, DC, USB-QC 3.0. Basically, I use this for our Jackery to charge it for the next day. Worked out great. It's 60 watts. That's what I purchased. I did end up giving this to my wife. The next purchase, I'm going to go higher in the wattage, of course, 100 150, 200, I don't know at this point. I originally started out with 26%. I set this up on my hood of the truck. I ended up setting up camp, leaving it alone for a couple hours, came back and I was at 81%. So <laughs> these are the instructions for the Red Camp waterproof car awning sun shelter. This is basically if you're camping out of an SUV. I got this item and I cannot remember how much it costs. I can't find it on Amazon anymore. It's just gone. Uh, we'll go through the setup. It's like a partial tent. It's been with me through Joshua Tree. Sycamore. High winds, like really high winds. 40 mile per hour winds. And it's withheld... As long as you have your uh, guidelines in properly, it's held tight. I thought for sure when we were in Joshua Tree, it would just blow away. It didn't. Uh, we have taken it to Thornhill Broom. We have taken it to uh, Malibu Canyon. We have taken it to Leo Carrillo. I opened it up at... Um, we have taken it to the Los Angeles Forest on a few camps. And this thing is held held up. If you guys can find this, this is a pretty cool item. I would definitely suggest you guys uh, invest. But again, I can't find it anywhere. So the top part of this, you got to slide some poles in. Of course, it's got its like little grooves that they mount into, creating this beautiful canopy. Again, it's windy, guys. This thing held up perfectly. That's my dog drinking water in the background. What can I say? Normal person just like yourselves. <laughs> Enjoy the drinking of the water. <laughs> Anyways, guying it down was tough. Again, there's missing guy lines on this. I don't know if it was just uh, in my set or not, but I I love this. I bought this for the RAV4. So these, these again, are the items that I purchased for the Toyota Tacoma to actually get out and camp. I hope that you guys get out there one day. If I see you out there, say what's up. Maybe we'll share a beer or something. Give me a like. Give me a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.
Get that. Push down hard. Press the button. How much of this you can see guys but I love my little Jackery the little setup projector of course you need the laptop and some movies some internet but this is great yeah it's actually gonna do it for me tonight guys um, I really don't know how much of this you're getting it's time for bed I just want to say thank you for uh, watching give me a thumbs up like subscribe Talk to you guys very soon, okay?